Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Friedel Crafts acylation. Uh, the Friedel Crafts acylation is another carbon carbon uh, forming, carbon carbon bond forming uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. This time, uh, the product is a ketone. And so, acyl is sort of the, the generic word for, for a ketone kind of group as a substituent. Uh, and the kind of reaction conditions needed to generate this product um, involves chlorine on uh, one side. So this is an acyl chloride. And uh, the, our, our good old friend, aluminum trichloride, as a Lewis acid catalyst. The, acti the active electrophile here is... Uh, again, the the complex, well, the active electrophile, you might be ready to propose is the complex between the acyl chloride and the aluminum chloride, and you would be right, except something else can happen here, and that something else does happen, so we'll, we'll talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and put my R group on the other side so that uh, I'm pointing my chlorine at where I'm going to draw the aluminum chloride and this really does start off in the same place uh, the, the chlorine chlorine on the acyl chloride and the aluminum get together and we form this kind of intermediate that I've been drawing for the other Frito craft reaction similar inter similar intermediate in the halogenation reactions the only difference is this intermediate can and does kind of decompose into uh, a slightly different electrophile. I, want to, I actually want to see this carbon label. It's important. We don't lose track of it. Put a positive charge there. Um, and I'm putting that positive charge there because this is actually a linear. I'm sorry, I'm not putting the positive charge there. I'm drawing it this way because this is this is, structure is actually linear. It's not. Uh, it is not trigonal planar anymore. And and our you know chloro petrochloroaluminate. This acylinium, this this thing, this is an acylinium cation has uh, another resonance contributor, so this is why it is able to form uh, where in other Frito crafts kind of reactions we did not get such a, a total uh, carbon chlorine bond cleavage early on. Because this reaction proceeds and completely, you know, and this happens pretty quickly, this reaction tends to need a full stoichiometric equivalent of aluminum chloride, because even though it's regenerated at the end, it's consumed pretty quickly. Once you have this, uh, once you have this electrophile, I'm gonna, you know, you know what, Let's use the, the triple bond version. Of course, I put the positive charge in the wrong place in the triple bond. It goes on the oxygen. Oxygen does not like to have a tri uh, triple bond. I apologize for that. Now, the mechanism follows pretty straightforward to some of the other things we've seen. This actually looks a little bit more like the nitration mechanism where you uh, break the, the extra pi bond. And we get our uh, acyl group on there. We have our hydrogen at that position. We have the, the cation. And we do use the, the chloral aluminate anion as the base. So it's going to come take away this extra proton, just like we've been using it for other variations. And now we get uh, our ketone.
we get hydrochloric acid and we regenerate aluminum trichloride. This reaction is going to work with just about anything that R is, as long as R is not uh, otherwise reactive under these conditions. And, and actually, R can be uh, an aromatic ring. Uh, because, well, this will gets into the, the re regioselectivity stuff, which is coming. But the, the carbonyl group on the aromatic ring makes it less reactive. One of the things that we can't have, though, are uh, R equals H. It is not possible to synthesize aldehydes this way. Uh, it, yeah, the, the corresponding acyl halide for the aldehyde which is formyl chloride. This compound is not actually, uh, well, it does exist and it doesn't. It's um, actually a minor component in the equilibrium mixture of hydrochloric acid and uh, carbon monoxide. But it turns out that as long as you know that, you can convert benzene into benzaldehyde uh, by using, not trying to, to go out and find formal chloride, but by using carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride, and still requiring the aluminum trichloride Lewis acid catalyst this combination of stuff will generate benzaldehyde or, or other aromatic aldehydes as appropriate. And this reaction has a name for those people who care. This is the, the Gadamin reaction uh, or, or the gadamin Koch reaction. Uh, I can't spell reaction. Gatterman-Coke. Some people put Coke's name in here and some people don't. Uh, Gatterman-Coke reaction. So there are actually other ways to put in, um, you know, an aldehyde on an aromatic ring, but this, this one is most similar to what I just talked about. And um, we will, you know, you may learn about some other ones out, out in the future. So this concludes the video on the, the, uh, Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. In the next video, which is going to be the last introductory series on the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions themselves, uh, but it is actually really sort of a sneaky synthesis thing. I'm going to talk about how to avoid the problem of of um, rearrangement in uh, aromatic in in Friedel Crafts alkylation and how to put on some other functional groups that we didn't see here. Uh, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching.